Well, good, wonderful, beautiful morning, party ants. These girls are getting some playtime in. We're getting ready to haul everything out to the car. And then one more little walk, and we're on the road again. We did pretty good. It's about five to seven right now. It's about when we plan to be on the road. Hey, shh, 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 shh. Oh, you want me to open this? I can't open it if you're in the way. There's not much of a view right here, Shelby. I mean, how's that? Is that better? She's like, that was better than what I saw a second ago. Um, when I was walking the dogs earlier, I could see the mountains. They were definitely blocked by clouds last night. But, yeah. So we're getting ready. Hit the road. Tonight, we're going to end up in Las Vegas. So way off to the distance, can you see it through all the nose prints on the windows? There's the mountains. Whee! There's snow over there. Can we go over there where the snow is? <laughs> I'd like to go up there where there's snow, please. <laughs> I think eventually we're driving through part of those, but I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, I don't know if we'll get close to the snow. Oh, well, I can dream. <laughs> <laughs> so we just passed through Loveland, Colorado. We're heading towards Denver. Hopefully we're gonna miss their rush hour traffic. I don't remember what Denver's rush hour traffic. We've only been through there like once. so. Hopefully it's not too bad. The traffic right now is at least moving. I mean, there's a lot of cars on the road, but it's moving, so let's hope. This is the road run. It's crazy because everything here looks eh, fairly, fairly flat, not a lot of trees, a lot of farmlands, but when you look off to the side, oh, there's a hill. Look, there's mountains behind that hill, and apparently there's a metal camel. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, we're driving. Technically through the mountain to get to the other side of it. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. You can tell they cut all that away so we can yeah. drive here. This is really pretty. It's not like a super tall mountain. We're kind of, we're in the Colorado Rockies, I think, and we're kind of like towards the foothills. Yeah. So towards the smaller part of the mountains. We just read a sign that said tire chains must be carried. What did it say? September through May. Yep. <laughs> if you're a semi truck, you have to have chains for your tires. Yeah, if you want to go this way, it's a beautiful day today. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're just going to enjoy this ride. Mm -hmm. Alright, here we go. I we're guess, going through the mountain. Do we got to hold our breath or something? Yeah, right. I guess they couldn't move these rocks away. It was easier to make a hole through it, right. which is probably accurate. Ready? <gasps> Shelby, you're not holding your breath. You're supposed to hold your breath. <laughs> uh, Alright, Idaho Springs next three exits. Let's find a gas station. So we pulled off in Idaho Springs, Colorado, which apparently was where the gold rush started. Look at these hills, you guys. That's crazy. My Jeep is covered in bugs. Covered. It's beautiful today, though. So this is Idaho Springs, Colorado. As I was saying, I guess this was the start of the gold rush, according to the sign. Look, there's a mine, and it's a gold mine. The Argo Gold Mine and Mill. That's pretty cool. Huh, yeah, maybe we should have drove through that town instead of just got gas. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, it's really pretty. We're in a little like valley in the mountains right here, and as you can tell, this is going to be a pretty drive today. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. Mountain town. <laughs> yeah, little mountain town. So I don't know about you, but as soon as you said that, did the South Park song go through your head? Oh yeah. <laughs> is it just because we're in Colorado? It could be. <laughs> Dogs are doing pretty good. They were having a little bit of a hard time. When we were in Denver, there was traffic. So we didn't get this like nice smooth ride. It was a lot of that stop and slow down. So they were very unsettled but now they're doing a little bit better. There's a little snow on the mountain. Snow on the mountain. We're getting closer to it. I thought you said we weren't gonna get any closer. Yeah, apparently <laughs> we are. You guys, that snow is like right on the side of the road. We could totally go play in the snow. <laughs> okay, so. The freeway going the way we were going is stopped. We got distracted by snow in the mountains and we turned off on a pass that no joke oh my gosh. goes through the mountain. 
Yeah, the highway's over there somewhere. Yeah, so we're actually driving through Loveland Pass Road, which I don't know if this was a good idea or not, but it's gorgeous. So that means it's a good idea. <laughs> And there's snow. If we can find some close to the road, that's pretty. We might have to let Kira see her first snow. Or We're touch get there real quick. Touch her first snow. <laughs> Look, you guys. Kira is experiencing her very first snow. These girls are also checking out the snow. Jamie and I just realized we're in shorts in the snow. It's actually pretty cold right here. Come down here. Come check. Yeah! Is that exciting? It's so exciting! Is it good stuff? Oh my goodness, yes, there's snow! We drove you all the way across country to see some snow. Are you digging in the snow? Memphis, are you eating snow? Guys, this is so great. Just wait till winter, baby, just wait till winter. Did you girls drink out of the stream? That's like glacial mountain water. People pay good money for that stuff. Come here, check this out, come here. Come check this out, look. Look, check this out. There's a stream. What do you think of that? That's probably really cold. Yeah, what do you think? <laughs> How fun is that, huh? How fun is that? She's watching that water move like, whoa, I'm gonna play in this. I'm gonna play in this water. How fun. So here's our Jeep. In the mountains, check it out. There's a gladiator. <laughs> oh, that's the new Jeep Gladiator truck. All right, we're getting back on the road. So the way we're going delays us like a half an hour, but tell me that that half an hour was not worth this view. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, I could cry. And Kira got to see her first snow. This is amazing. This is amazing. It's so pretty. So worth it. I know we're going to see a lot of mountains today, but uh, I just can't get past this view. <laughs> okay, we're going back to this view. So this is Loveland Pass. We're behind the Jeep Gladiator now. Look at this, you guys. All right, a runaway truck ramp. It's six miles. Wow, you better hold on for six miles. <laughs> Oh, this was so worth it. I mean, okay, the last little section I was freaking out, but this, this is what makes road trips amazing. There's a little avalanche. You this can is see all the very uh, top. You can see where it fell down. So this is an avalanche area. The wind must must push the snow over that edge. Oh, I can't breathe up here. Yeah, it's a little thin <laughs> up here. We're at eleven thousand nine hundred feet. I think it said. That's cool. Gosh, that's cool. Loveland Pass Road. That's where we are, in case you guys are wondering. So this, I believe it said, was the Glenwood Canyon. And I believe that is the Colorado River. Yeah, it's definitely the Colorado River. So this canyon was cut by the Colorado River, just like the Grand Canyon. It's kind of neat when you think about it that way, right? Yeah, and that we're just on the edge of this river. Yeah, the river is yep. literally right there. Yep. We're like, hey, can we borrow this space over here where it's really flat and there's water running? <laughs> it's kind of shallow. Can we build a road here and we're just drive just through We're just gonna drive through this canyon. Because I bet 100 years ago, this would have been a river. Yeah, it's oh, um, sandy, yeah. Sandy bottom. Yeah, I mean, they probably had to blast a lot of this. Look at that, it's just so cool. They blasted some. Yeah, there's a railroad track over there too, so I'm sure they blazed. Wow, oh, this is cool. crazy power lines stuck up there. <laughs> wow. We're just uh, continuing on. We definitely can't hold our breath through this tunnel. Yeah, no, I don't think so. This is, uh, this is a super long tunnel. We've already been in it for quite a while before I even picked up the camera. <laughs> Anyway, this girls, you're in a tunnel. What are you doing dark back there? It's all dark in here, yeah. We're still not out of this tunnel. See some light. Is there light at the end of this tunnel? I see light. <laughs> Yay, we made it! Wait, let's see what it looks like as we come out. It's gonna be blinded. We're gonna be blinded by the light. Oh my gosh, here we go. We're still in the canyon. <laughs> not going anywhere, huh? Shelby's in the river. I got these two here. 
Shelby wants to swim real bad, but we're not letting her go anywhere out in that. We don't want to lose her. We don't want to lose her. So we're still in that canyon. We stopped at a roadside park. Nice place to stop, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take a little walk across the river. Ah! See how Shelby does. Holy. Oh. Okay, yeah, I don't know if I need to go further. This is, wow. So you guys probably can't hear me over the water, but life in the fast lane. Here, I'll let you guys read if you want to read it. You know what to do. Cedar River, huh, girls? What was that? All right, Shelbs. She has no fear of that edge. Yeah, Shelby's looking. Jessica start driving for a little bit. This this uh, curvy road was uh, oh, shake my gut up. It was made, it's like a roller coaster. It's like a roller coaster. Only without the hills. Yeah, right. It's the banking feeling of a roller coaster. Where you're like, uh, uh, we're going this way. Yeah, uh, we're going this way. Uh, yeah, we're going this way. Yeah. I mean, there's Just hills. Just cool though. But... See the river. There? Turning, but I have a feeling it switches back before the other side there. <laughs> That's pretty cool, guys. There's that river. Dogs, how the dogs are doing? Hi, Mama. Shelby's back there. Yeah, hi, girl. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> Probably only another 30 minutes of curves and then it might be just straight. Oh, we'll see. Yeah, it looks cool. Yeah, it does. Trailer! Trailer. Yeah. You guys see the train tunnel? That's so cool. I don't know why it's cooler it's than a really, tunnel. It's a really old tunnel in there too, but, but we get tunnels again too. Yeah, but the train tunnel's Back in the tunnel, a real short one. Oh. Are we going to be able to see the train one on the other side? Yep, probably. It's going to be right back in that hole. Um, yep, right there. Let's see this one. <laughs> Wait, no, maybe. It's Behind the trees? Yeah, There's way back there. There's people paddleboarding down the river that we can't see. Really? Jeez. Yeah, they were stand-up paddleboarding. Oh, so it must not be white water rapids here. I don't here know, it looked pretty rapid but they were standing. <laughs> Okay. You can see the river a little bit. Wow. Literally came over a hill, and look, it's like kind of flat. Yeah, it's but pretty flat. There's it is a huge valley. Look, we're leaving colorful Colorado. We're leaving colorful Colorado. Or not, not Nevada, wrong state. Right. In Utah. Yep. Look, everybody stopped to take a picture of the sign. Welcome to Utah. Uh, the sign could use some pit. Oh no, it's got stickers all over yep. it. <laughs> We're not in Nevada yet. I knew that. I knew what it meant. Yeah. Utah. Yeah, we gotta go through this big square. Yep. Yeah. I saw a mountain over there in the distance, but now there's a yeah, no, block. 
Yeah, right. Wow, their speed limit's 80? I love Utah! Oh, maybe that's why the guy at the gas station said, oh, it'll only take nine hours to get to Vegas from wherever we were at instead yeah. of 11. Huh. Well, I love Utah now. 90? Well, their speed limit's 80. 80? Yeah. Okay. I thought you said 90. There's not a whole lot of gas out here, so. It says we have 86 miles to go. The next gas station is 72 miles, or, or no, 68 miles away. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's gonna be close. Ghost Rock viewing area. Is that the big rock up there? I guess I can move this out here. Oh, that's all right. little gas light that came on no joke 15 miles ago 15 miles ago and uh we made it there's a gas station we made it we're not gonna run out of gas we did it jamie oh my god that was a little nerve-wracking we had to drive 55 for the last uh i don't know 20 minutes just to be sure right. but we made it to the gas station mm -hmm. you can run out anytime now i don't care <laughs> check out how this guy is hauling the side by side it's literally like on the back of his truck. That's wicked. I don't think I've ever seen a side-by-side -side pull like that. Yeah, carry it up on top like that. That yeah. seems kind of smart. Like, I've seen four-wheelers in the back of trucks that they drive up on the ramps, but not like that. That was neat. Ugh. Well, if you're going to do that, you better check your height, though, because... Yeah, you're right. You know, you might not I'm make sure it... He, yeah, I'm sure he knows how tall he is, but still. You might not make it under every bridge. <laughs> Uh, we are still in Utah, and we are, I don't know, three hours and 20 minutes away from the hotel. I'm trying to edit a video, but see I have this giant beast of a laptop, and I can't actually use the power inverter in here, so. Um, yeah, we'll have to get another one. Yeah, so I'm rushing, and uh, trying to make sure that I can get at least the videos edited, and then I can upload them when we get to the hotel. But yeah. Hi Memphis, how are you? So guys, I'm good. I had lunch. I'm a happy girl. I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's like a little dust storm going on. This is the second one we've driven through. The first one we drove through, we were actually in the mountains through Utah here. And uh, um, yeah, the first time the dust hit, it blew rocks at the car. It sounded like hail. It was crazy. Look at the mountains over there are red again. We're still on this long road. We made it to Arizona. I didn't even realize we were gonna be driving through Arizona, but apparently we are. So, we're in Arizona. We're still not to Nevada. We got about an hour and 45 minutes left. We're just uh, cruising along. And after driving for what feels like forever, you come out of the desert and there's a giant city in the middle of the desert. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's over there. We're almost there. 25 more minutes to go. So we made it to our room in Las Vegas. It is a little bit different than the other rooms. It only has one bed, but it's huge. This is also a pull-out bed, so it should work pretty good for all of us. Hey, shh. you stop, you stop. Uh, Shelby doesn't know what she thinks about this, and it is 102 degrees outside. So Vegas was a bad decision for the location hey, shh. to stay. But um, we're only here one night, so should be good. Lots of water, they'll be good. <laughs> this is what happens when you've been cooped up in a car for way too long. Were you in a car for way too long? Hey, stop barking. 
You can't bark in a hotel. Come bark in a hotel. I know, you want to play, but you can't bark in a hotel. You can play, no barking allowed. So we're actually up early, having breakfast, and we forgot to say goodnight last night. So we're going to do that real quick. <laughs> we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was a long drive, but we made it, and it's already the next morning, and we're doing good. So, as always, you guys, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive. Dream big. We'll see you again soon. Good night, audience, even though it's morning. <laughs> If you love our huskies, come along for the ride All you have to do is hit subscribe Follow as we share our lives with our dogs And join our adventures on Snow Dog Vlogs